Hey guys, it's Cheryl with Magical Melody and I'm sitting in my swimming pool and I'm here with my week 23 post-op VSG update. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy or a VSG surgery on January 5th, 2017 with Dr. William Steely at Tenova Healthcare. I am five foot six and a half. My highest weight ever was 250.4 day of surgery, 241.4. Last week I was 182.9 and today I am 181.4. So that's a total loss of one point four pounds for the week that is really awesome because a couple of things happened this week that made me feel like that possibly I wasn't going to lose any weight I had shark week this week and because of that I really just felt like that I wasn't gonna lose because I shot like over the weekend when it first started I blew I blew up like I got really bloated and you could see it and I, I blew up really bad and I went from the 182 that I was last week all the way up to 185.4 um, you know over the weekend and during my uh, time with Shark Week and so for that reason, I did not think that I was going to have a loss for this week. Um, but I, I did manage to get it to come back down. I just drank a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. And I had some... I, you know, I really don't want to admit this, but because of the way that I sometimes blow up like when I have my period you know like with all the water retention I do sometimes have to take uh, a water pill like I don't know if you've ever heard of the Diorex and I think that Pamperin has one that helps you get rid of some of the water retention I mean I'm one of these people where I have had my period before and I have gained like 20 pounds in water weight and <laughs> that's a lot of weight to gain when you're you know trying to lose weight and have to worry about having that interrupted and everything so yeah and then the other thing is I hope y'all can see me turn it around just a little bit more okay um the other thing is I kind of have an issue that I need to talk about remember that video that I just made a couple of weeks ago where I did the whole protein bar haul and I had all those protein bars and I tasted some and all that um, I noticed that about three or four days after I got those protein bars, I noticed that quite a few of them came up missing. And I've had problems in the past with my older daughter sneaking food, uh, eating extra potato chips or eating extra protein bars or going through my stash in the refrigerator like you know eating my deli meat and my cheese string cheese and just stuff like that one time my husband got up one morning and he said she ate like four oranges overnight I said hey, do you know like for sure it was her and he said yeah because there's a bunch of orange peels in the trash can and on the floor around it and it wasn't there 
when we went to bed last night. So, I know that personally, I cannot physically eat that many protein bars. <laughs> I would be sick to my stomach. Yeah, but a good, a good portion of the protein bars were missing, um, you know, within three to four days after I got them. Whereas now, of course, with my husband and I both eating them, um, they're almost gone and it's only the 16th of June. And my thinking was when I got them, gosh, if I buy a whole bunch, then I'm not going to have to buy any more for, you know, at least a couple of months. Well, because of that incident, I'm going to have to go back and uh, get some more protein bars or just wait until we get paid next and pick up some more then. But I was really hoping I wouldn't have to buy any. Um, no, I don't really need the protein bars. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can live without them. I have lived without them before. Um, it's not a big deal, but you know, it's the same time. Uh, uh, that's, that's quite a bit of a waste. Um, we did get the blood work results back from her doctor. Um, when we were, you know, from when we did the blood work, blood work, when we drew the blood, her A1C is kind of high, and her thir her thyroid came back high. So with her A1C high, there's a good chance that she is either pre-diabetic or she's diabetic, and they want her to go see uh, the endocrinology department. Um, you know, so uh, I'm really worried about her because for sure, for sure, for sure, we've got definitely got a eating issue, some type of overeating disorder issue uh, because she's sneaking food and she's she's hiding it pretty well and then when I confront her about it so I didn't eat it I just was like yeah well okay somebody did though somebody definitely did <laughs> and it wasn't me and it wasn't your dad you know my, my two little ones really are good about things and they don't go in the pantry and and help themselves to anything I mean they come and ask if they can have this or that, you know. She'll come and ask you, but then whenever you've got your back turned and you're not looking, uh, she goes and helps herself. So my husband said, well, you're going to have to start putting that stuff down in the garage. That's why I keep all the chips and all the stuff that I get for the kids every month in the garage so she can't go help herself to it all because she doesn't know where I keep them. And I was like, yeah, but I kind of didn't want to do that. Also with the fact that we usually keep the pantry closet locked anyway. Uh, because there's been some threats of suicide and stuff like that in there. And, you know, we keep, like, knives in there and stuff like that. Because we don't want to see anybody end up getting hurt around here, you know. So we, we keep it locked. And I said, well, if it's, it's locked, so she must be sneaking in whenever we have it unlocked, getting them. Or maybe she's figured out a way to unlock the pantry closet door without the key. Because sometimes it's, you can't pick like, locks and stuff like that. Some people know how to do that. So, anyway, I, I really don't know the situation on that. There's something that I wanted to share with you guys because it's really bothering me. And I'm really scared for my daughter and for her health. Um... You know, because there's been some family history of issues, uh, not just from my side of the family, but her biological father's side of the family, like I said previously in another video. So I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned. Um, 
this outfit that you see me with today uh, I'll try to back up a little bit so you can kind of see it this is that white swimsuit I told you about in my goals that I wanted to be able to fit into um, it's a one piece and it's it's got a lot of cleavage going on and I did happen to notice that the bra you know those underwires that they put in things it is starting to come out um, Hi, Mom. which is fine with me because really it's Chinese made and they don't make the underwire it doesn't go all the way around the bar the bra cup so it makes it kind of fit funny um, so anyway but yeah, this is that white swimsuit. I did share it on Instagram one night. I posted a video. And I happened to notice today that somebody left a comment on that video. And they said, well, I'm 187 and I'm not as big as you. What's your height? And I personally thought that that was extremely rude to say. Uh, for one thing, I can actually say I'm not big okay I'm not 100% happy with where I am but I'm not big okay um, and so I just wrote back and I said well I'm five six and a half secondly I think it's pretty rude for you to say something like that that's an awful rude thing to say to somebody so I think that you need to take your rude ass off my page like unfollow me or block me or something because I don't go around saying that kind of stuff to other people and I don't expect it to be said to me you know I'm not big I will say that white does kind of make me look big white seems to bring out all my un, uh, imperfections so white on me is a little bit unflattering but that wasn't the point the point is i set a goal in january to be able to fit the swimsuit and i can fit the swimsuit it fits me so yeah i wear it because i'm happy that i can wear it i'm wearing it because i can <laughs> it fits me so um another thing that i wanted to bring out too is I have a couple of NSVs that I wanted to talk about. One being that, uh, I'm just going to lean forward to make sure that my video is still recording. Um, it is. One being that I have enough room now to lean over in my shower to shave my legs when I'm taking a shower. Um, before my shower seemed really small and I just didn't have any room and I couldn't comfortably lean over to shave my legs I had to kind of try to sit in the floor and then with me being so big and such a small shower that was extremely uncomfortable so I switched to use a nair for quite a while I mean I, ha I still have some nair and I <laughs> probably should still use it because it slows down the hair growth um, but I really don't because I'm kind of proud of the fact that I can actually lean over in my shower and comfortably shave my legs. And for two, this little floaty that I'm sitting on, for me to have gotten on this size of floaty before, I would have had to jump on it from the ladder and then I would have went all the way across the pool because <laughs> of how much work it would take for me to get on a little floaty like this I can sit I can I can stand on the ladder and actually sit in the floaty without going all the way across the pool with it I can actually sit here I comfortably fit in the floaty you know there's a little bit of room and I'm, I'm kind of hanging on to the side of the pool because I don't want to accidentally start floating around the pool while I'm talking to you. 
and the reason I decided to do this today in the pool is just for us changing scenery and plus also the fact that I can fit my swimsuit and so I wanted to make my swimsuit a part of this update um, so comment below if you have any suggestions on what I can do to help my daughter with her eating issues um, the school did happen to notice this week when she was at camp that the doctor wants her to be on a calorie restriction and so they went to the kitchen to talk to the cook to see if there was a way that that could possibly happen um, because they said well without a doctor's order we can't put her on any kind of diet so that's been a problem too because of not being able to uh, have her be on any kind of diet uh, at, while she's at school and being able to go back for God only knows how many servings of food uh, at each meal and stuff like that I know because I went to a school for the blind up in Maryland and I did a lot of the same thing I would go and I would eat like four and five helpings of food I would get two or three desserts I, I definitely at her age had a major major overeating problem um, outside of the times when I did try and do myself a favor and put myself on a vegetarian diet where I just ate vegetables and I would allow myself only white meat products oh. and you know that went well for me until the staff started complaining about what I was and wasn't eating and whatnot so yeah you know, I was hoping, I was really hoping for something a lot better for my daughter as far as her weight and as far as her eating issues go. I was really hoping, you know, that she wouldn't have to go through the same thing. But apparently that's not going to be the case. But anyway, um, I did miss my three-month follow-up appointment with my surgeon. So that has been rescheduled for June the 23rd. I'm kind of excited to see him because the last time I saw him was the day that my husband had surgery and he had stated that he was really proud of me where I was. So I'm kind of excited to see him uh, next week to see what he has to say and so that will be part of my update next Friday. I, I believe Friday is the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. So, I will have to share with you what he says on, on that day. Um, so, for this update, I don't really think I have anything else to share with you so I'm gonna just end it here and I will see you guys next week I hope that you have a good weekend and thank you so much for all of the new subscribers I'm at 90 subscribers and so I only have 10 more to go before I have a hundred subscribers so I'm, I was thinking about doing something special for you guys at my 100 subscribers mark so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet but once I get that figured out I'll let you know um, anyway I really love you guys and um, I appreciate all your support it means a lot to me um, and I will see you in the next one and if you're new please subscribe until next time Bye.